Well, welcome back Mission Kids, welcome back Mission Lakewood families to episode 2 of Q&A with Pastor Jay. We are so excited to dive into a few more questions and we're going to dive right in. We hope everybody is staying healthy and staying home together and enjoying your time as a family. But one of the questions that I've gotten actually from a couple of people is have you learned anything new while you've been at home? And the first thing that I would say is yes, because I always want to be learning, and you should always want to be learning too. But I have actually learned something new and cool, and it is a card trick. Do you see the cards here? This is a regular deck of cards. Now, how this is going to work, we're going to have to kind of pretend and kind of do it in real life. So I want you to participate, and I want you to do the things that I'm asking you to do. I've got a regular deck of cards. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip through them like that. And I want you to tell me when to stop. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna flip, stop right there. Cause I think some of you said to stop right there, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna close my eyes. And I want you to memorize this card. Memorize the number, the color, and the shape that you see. I'm just gonna put that card, I'm not looking, putting it back in the deck right in the middle. These other cards here on top. Now it's scrambled in. Now I'm going to scramble the cards one more time. And as I'm scrambling, I want you to think in your brain of that card that you saw. So now I'm going to find my special concentration card here, which will help me read your mind. Actually, that's just for pretend. But I want you to think of the card that you saw. Are you thinking of it? Okay. Now. Shuffle it one more time just to make sure everything is mixed in. And now, here's the tricky part. Here's where I need your help. I'm going to flip through it, and I want you to tell me again. Make sure you can see it. When to stop. Ready? So flip in. Tell me when to stop right there. All right, so we have the deck of cards here. You are trusting that where you told me to stop, your card is going to be on top. And your card is... Hopefully that was your card. That's one of the things I've learned while we've been on quarantine. Next question I got is who is your favorite artist? And so I love to draw, I love art, I love different kinds of art, and there's amazing artists throughout history that have done amazing, amazing things. But I actually have a favorite artist who's my favorite for kind of a few different reasons. So his name is Bob Ross, and he is uh, a painter that had a TV show when I was little that you can still find, and it's amazing. It's actually one of the best TV shows. And one of the cool things about Bob Ross is he was very, very encouraging of people that didn't know how to paint. So he would paint landscapes with mountains and things like that. I actually have a little guy here. This is Bob Ross. He talks to you. see if he ever can talk. You have to have dark in order to show light, just like in life, which is true. Because the sin and the, the bad things in the world help us to see the bestness, the betterness of God, of His love, of His goodness, of choosing God's way. Um, when we see things that are hard in the world or things that are dark in the world, His light shines brighter. Let's see if you can say one more thing. Super encouraging guy. I have even a little book here, paintings by Bob Ross. It's on my desk. Tiny little versions of the types of paintings. There you go. Favorite artist, Bob Ross. So the last question that I have that I'm going to do for today on this episode is what is the first thing you're going to do when we can all leave our houses again? And the first thing I am excited to do is to see you guys give you guys hugs, high fives, pounds, just to see you guys and say hi and tell you I love you, but we're praying that the doctors and the nurses and the scientists and everybody doing the research, that they find a cure quickly and that we can safely get back to seeing each other. But in the meantime, just know you are loved more than anything by God, but you are loved by us, you are loved by your church, you are loved by your parents, and you are loved and we can't wait to see you. So hope that you have a great week. We'll see you again for more Q&A with Pastor Jay. Okay, bye.